Welcome to another episode of Minneapolis by Night. This is the vampire venue for those who can't fucking, you know, use their two common sense to figure it out. <laughs> uh, specifically, this is a scene between Marcella and Lorenzo. The conversation that's been uh, long overdue because, well, real life has come up and, you know, shit happens. <laughs> <laughs> um, apparently, like, 24 to 48 hours after they left uh, for three get- days. It's 24 hours officially, as far as 24. I okay, 24 hours after they left for Green Bay, they returned. Um, so really, honestly, the you know the main part of the conversation Lorenzo was going to have is pointless. Right, <laughs> right. But they do need to have a talk. Right. And, uh... Uh, he's in his room. Kind of fucking around on the computer. Oh, fabulous. Uh, by the way, like I said, they were trying to keep it uh, low key. That way they could uh, do whatever. Can tell his hacker friend. <laughs> do they Translation, care? not at Julian's. Gotcha. Um, So we'll say that because the house is quiet, uh, it's easy uh-huh. enough to close the garage, and that's where they're at for the time being. Sure, that works. Consider, uh, and she will go and uh, knock on his bedroom door. Nobody's home. Didn't think so. She kind of just casually pushes it open. Oh, I want you. What's up, Mom? Oh, oh not not entirely uh, all that much. Uh, <laughs> out of character, obviously, I had made mention of wanting to address this in a blue book, but because it didn't actually get addressed in the blue book, I'm just going to do it. Okay. So this whole uh, freedom bit uh, that you're getting, mm-hmm. uh, I wouldn't exactly say that within our family there's freedoms to all that much, considering um, we've got I'm a lot of different... i on watch worse than a goddamn prisoner. <laughs> Lorenzo, you're not only watched by our family. Yeah, well. Your uh, skills, she glances at his computer screen, have caught the attention of more people than family. Well, I figured. Don't get skills like mine and not get attention from someone. Not just any someone. The uh, the uh, current Justicar. Okay. She didn't say much more. Other than that, they were watching you. Eh. They only think they're watching me. I've been able to uh, mask myself pretty well, and duplicate myself all over the internet. So. As far as, as far as they know, they're probably watching, you know, a, a fake me. So. I hope that's, I hope that's correct. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm being a little cocky, but they, yeah. I'm a hacker. That's what we do. You, you're smart. You know better than I do on the technology. However, just be as careful as you can. Well, I'm not doing anything stupid like, you know, breaking in anything major that would draw attention. Just fucking around. Good, good. I'm going to chat into my other hacker friend. And <laughs> making fun of the people who don't get it yet. Oh, sorry, sorry, I don't I don't get it yet. Yeah, you're one of the ones who make fun of <laughs> I'm sure you do. I'm sure you do. What are, what are kids for? She, she's obviously joking. <laughs> Making fun of your parents, right? 
<laughs> oh, yeah. It's part of our job. I think it's a, it's a prerequisite. I'm pretty sure it's in the handbook somewhere. Yeah, I'm sure it is. I'm sure it is, kid. I'm sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I hear you women talking all the time about how you guys have a handbook and, you know, guys can't know it. Handbook? There's a handbook? <laughs> well, apparently. Supposedly. Yeah, well. Girls talking, you'll hear them talk, you know, hey, you know, sh you're not supposed to give out secrets of the handbook. <laughs> I guess I'm uh, not privy to that information. Apparently, neither are any guys. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, special. <laughs> so, uh, aside from warning me about the so. just a car, is there a particular reason you're in here? He looks at you. Well. I, I just want to know your uh, thoughts on a few matters and uh, talk to you about a few miscellaneous things. Okay. Well, shoot. Well, in regards to this family, you you know a lot, but how much do you know? In regards to the, the family, what? I mean, you could be a little more specific there, Mom. You're being a bit fucking vague. I mean, even for me, you're being a bit fucking vague. I mean, thinking ahead of things as far as this family goes, there's a multitude of things that could happen. And some may even eliminate your free choice. Mm hmm. For example, um, you obviously know that kindred are popular in our family. Yeah, a little bit. Um, I wouldn't exactly call it popular, more um, a you, prerequisite, apparently. You see where I'm going, however. I hope. Well, um, according to Julian, um, his exact words were, they'll embrace you over my, you know, second dead rotting corpse. And uh, this is something that uh, Marcella has actually been pondering uh, in regards to his sire, to Julian's sire and her issues with the clan. She's trying to figure out it. I'm trying to recall if there's anything beyond uh how she was embraced into the clan, that might be an issue. <clears throat> Just the fact that she was embraced into the clan, A, against her will, and B, is basically cannon fodder. Uh, there's a, there's a bit more than clan. that in the background that I'm trying to... F out of character, there's a bit more in the background, and I'm, I want to roll my intelligence, either kindred lore or Giovanni lore, okay. to get it. Okay. Oh, which one would you uh, Giovanni Lore would probably be easier. Yeah. Um but four or five. I'll give you this information, I mind you, I won't know all of that, but <clears throat> Well eight and a nine. Um, it would be enough to know that, you know yeah, she has her extreme issues. Um, she was actually supposed to be a meal for Claudius um, and 12 yeah. other kindred lords. During the meal, Claudius's castle was attacked. Um, with yeah, the, the, basic, the basic information that <clears throat> I already grasped. Yeah. I'm looking for something a bit... Uh, uh, I'm looking for something a bit more deep. <laughs> um, uh, it was rumored, and Julian actually confirmed that uh, she was... Uh, Taken in by uh, the surviving members of the Cappadocians. Well, see here. They would have an extreme reason to hate the Giovanni. Yes, yes, the Cappadocians <laughs> for sure. However, uh, what I was looking at was that. Uh, where the F is it? I don't know. Um, Uh, 
Okay. So that that's sensory reason. Okay. I was looking for something a bit more deep, and I'm not going to get it, and that's legit. <laughs> Holly with two. took your piano. No, okay. with two. Oh, oh. William apparently was trying to message you. Yep, I saw that. I, I'm well aware. I'm going to tell you as soon as I can. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Um, there are just things that some things are adding up in a weird way. I'm not saying anything one way or another. But I will leave this. As you know, a lot of us are kindred. Some of us, like Vittorio, are not. Mm -hmm. Now, Here's a third element of things. This is kind of the space where uh, choice is kind of eliminated. Um, shifters tend to run in our family as well. Okay. And that is something that we can't predict or control. <laughs> no. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying that anything is a possibility. And I'd rather you be aware of it than unaware should shit go down. This is something we can't predict until it... Like, we can't... There's no way to find out that this is how it's going to be. It happens when or if it happens, and that's that. Gotcha. It's another thing to keep in mind. Will do. He just kind of looks at you. Well. <laughs> uh, perception, empathy. He's probably like, what the F? <laughs> yeah. actually don't have a sheet for him yet. So. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I haven't made one yet. I know. I haven't been fucking thinking about it. Uh, three successes. So. <laughs> You'd be able to look at you. And... Right, I've got three as well. So. <laughs> He's looking at you real curious. Like, what the fuck? He has a feeling there's more you want to say, but he just doesn't know what exactly it is you're trying to say. <laughs> <sighs> Something I, wanna... Wanna say, <laughs> I just want to make sure you're uh, in the know on things. I mean, yeah, you. <clears throat> Be aware of your other options, and for the record, yes. I want you to be well aware that the only reason I didn't want you in the room before we left Julian's is because I was not sure whether the shit was going to hit the fan or not. It wasn't to eliminate any choice for me. Now, from the look outside, when uh, from the look outside of the room before I walked in, I could say Julian also thought the same thing. Considering, uh, I believe most of his guard staff, aka his ghouls, were standing outside the door with a bunch of heavy machine guns and waiting. Yeah. Yeah, I figured that was um, the hint that it's a little tense. It's just a little, a little intense. <clears throat> I'm sure you probably even have questions of your own. 
you're not stupid, and I know that you're curious and like to inquire answers clearly. If you're digging into the computer for miscellaneous answers on other things, you're a curious kid. So what clan are you officially now? He looks at you. She smiles <laughs> faintly. <clears throat> There's a subtle difference. Most people wouldn't notice it, but well. try and pull one over on your very perceptive son. Good luck on that. <laughs> I'm not going to try to pull one over on you, but... <clears throat> I assume you're going to continue portraying what you were. And then don't worry, I'm not going to go run around bragging to everybody. Just believe me, if my suspicions are true, I'm not the only one. <laughs> she smiles faintly. You're, you're correct in your assumption there. Yeah, I know. You guys are not as quiet as you think. jeez. <laughs> Nor as subtle as you think. You don't need to take classes or something. <laughs> <laughs> You could have just kept that to yourself. But no, 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 I figured, no, no. Gotta embarrass your mom, huh? Yeah, as much as possible. Yeah, it's the other part of the kid's job, you know. It's in that handbook I keep mentioning that you'll never see. I it was in my job description to embarrass you. <laughs> yep, well. Are you late in a dollar short? <laughs> Oh, I just, I, I really just want you to be happy, you know that, right? Mm-hmm. Still looking at you curiously. <laughs> Come on, spit out whatever you want to tell me. Any of the other little secrets you might have that... You know, I'm going to find out later because, you know, I'm fucking nosy. <laughs> you know, it, it, sometimes <laughs> there are just some things that it's best for you not to know. And, well, you just know them anyway, don't you? you know, well, hard to keep secrets when you're not really trying, so. <laughs> Do I think it was a good idea? I don't know. Do I think if anybody finds out you're in deep shit? Oh, yes. Yes. She's even like, yes. Do I think this uh, cardinal is probably bad news for you? Nah, well, he's a member of the church. That's all I need to say. No, no, no. Yeah, I understand. I get it. She smiles, and yeah, she legit does get it. Because, huh, on an OOC note, he's not trying to uh, push that on her. <laughs> yeah, but... Yeah. So, there's at least that. <laughs> you know... <laughs> Yes. We're here. Y'all. Yeah. We have quite literally all the freedom. No one should be watching our asses right now. Famous last words. I said no one should be, not that no one was. Well, forgive me, but I don't exactly trust your friend to uh, not be watching. I don't think he has a reason to. Yeah, well, 
don't lie, I think your judgment is a little skewed. <laughs> he just looks at you. Uh, okay. On that note, <laughs> no, my perception is not skewed. Not in the slightest bit. Mm -hmm. If you say so, I'm not going to argue. Uh, OOC <laughs> note, at this point, it's back down to a one point. Yeah, but he doesn't know that. He's just more trying to see your reaction. No, no. I don't know what you're trying to imply, but no. I'm not trying to imply Zombie. anything. Merely the fact that if I... Uh, I think he's being a little too forceful. We may have some issues, and considering the kind of people I know, that could be dangerous. He just smiles. <laughs> he's not forcing anybody to do anything. Well, like I said, I agreed to come on this with that little trip we took, which I. Still have yet to figure out why we left for a day and returned, but whatever. <sighs> you could have just lied and said, "Hey, we're going," and then just never left. It, it uh, was a whole big trip thing. A lot of fake yeah, trips for nothing. To get out of town. <laughs> yeah. For a short period of time. So, uh, yes, come looks at you. Julian, I'm really, really not too sure what to make of, uh, like I said, Julian's sire and certain aspects of things with Julian how they operate, but I will take it for what it is. Okay. For just some things that are kind of bothersome, and it's... I'll put it this way, and it's not personal. Don't, by any stretch of the means, take it this way. But they're taking an awful lot of interest in your personal freedom. I swear, no one else's seems to really matter. It's just a little off-putting, considering it's unusual for this family. Not. I mean, in this family, choices aren't really a big thing. So I have to wonder what their true endgame is. Well, one can say the same about your associate. He looks at you. I don't pretend to know what his endgame is either. Mm. She, she's telling the truth. She really doesn't know what what his end game is besides survival <laughs> <laughs> much like the rest of us I imagine uh, survival is key in his eyes I can imagine granted he operates a bit uh, differently than most of the people we associate with do obviously in reference to his church affiliations. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I would call it. However, uh, it's it's fairly easy to look past, and that's probably because he's not in your face shoving it down your throat. True. But it all comes down to, so what is he hiding? I mean, he's taken an awful personal interest in you. 
much to the degree of involving me as basically like his uh, leverage, so to speak. At least that's how I'm seeing it. I could be wrong, no. but the way I'm seeing it is, you know, I mean, he's obviously, obviously smart enough to know that you're not going to, you know, that to get to you, he'd have to basically win me over. And to be honest, I think that's a shady way to go and kind of is. pisses me off because it's almost like he's trying to insult my, you know, not intentionally, but it's almost like he's insulting my intelligence, like I can't get it. I don't think he realizes just how intelligent you are. Uh, but I can assure you that he has no intention of using you for anything. Mm -hmm. OOC note truth. Um, <laughs> <laughs> listen, all he knows is that I care about you. Oh, yeah, and you're my that mother. alone. That would worry. <laughs> he just smiles. And that alone is enough for him. Okay. Just because he wants you for anything, he doesn't want to use you for anything. I'm not saying he's doing it intentionally. Like I said, I don't even know if he realizes he's doing it. But. The way he's coming across is much different, and if I'm seeing it, you can bet others are too. Perhaps I can see I, I can see that point of view. Just saying. But I know for I'm certain. Not saying his intent one way or the other because I don't know. He's not bad at all. Sure, we all do less than humane things from time to time. You see Lorenzo type? He's saving. around, you hear an audio video of the conversation he had with the uh, lawyer that he ended up killing. And you hear both voices. Both voices. He looks at you. That's what the cops have. I hacked into their database and got it. What is it? I'm listening to it. Uh, you remember when uh, he broke into the uh, mortar lawyer's house to, you know, <laughs> to uh, enact rightful justice against the guy? because he was an abuser. Yeah. Now, don't get me wrong, he pauses it. I know what he did was right because after I did some research into this asshole, believe me, he couldn't have deserved a more better fate. But let's be honest, who the fuck does he think he is? And if the cops have that, you know they're going to be looking for him. He looks at you. Is it the actual well, copy that Dante no. used, or like, or is it the like original copy, like original copy or the, the original copy with his voice? Luckily, they don't know his voice, but I do. I was bored. I was curious. Heard about the murders in the city, so I wanted to check it out. This. Wasn't. Gosh, Ruby, you know I'm in the scene. <laughs> this wasn't what he left behind. I know this. In All the cops have it. <sighs> well. Given to them by an anonymous source. Like I said, I know his voice, and if I can get it, others can. I'm currently in the process of keeping it hidden for now. But I thought you should know. Yeah, I, I appreciate that. 
have to uh ironically uh, i didn't well, in all fairness i didn't hack into the police database but one of my associates did and you know they're like dude you got to hear this video it's really fucked up and as soon as i heard his voice i was like oh this is not good well lorenzo he may be someone of the uh faith he's a murderer put it like it is let's make no mistake However, whether the guy deserved it or not he's a murderer plain and simple and Correct. from what I saw of the police photos, I got to admit, it, I'm a little concerned. <laughs> oh, and some, someone also linked him to two other murders of priests. Sometimes. You really need to change up his MO if he wants to uh, stay anonymous. <sighs> Sometimes, when you are what we are, mm. you're not human anymore. Mm -hmm. Change. Mm -hmm. But that is not how you blend into society. Yet. No, that is not how you blend into society. But you know, I read all about the monsters. Inquisition. You know, it's an amazing thing. You'd be amazed what kind of information about the Inquisition is available if you know where to look. If you have something to say, Lorenzo, outright say it. I prefer it. I prefer bluntness. <sighs> I could give a shit less whether the Padre gets what's coming to him or not. You, on the other hand, you're my mother, and different clan or not, you're still my mother, no matter what. Always. I'm more concerned for your welfare than I am for his. I could give two shits if you were to drop off the face of the planet right now, because I don't trust him. I'm sorry. You commit heinous acts like that, and all I get is the excuse that, well, we're not human. Duh, no shit. But there are how many thousands of kindred that go through society all the time, manage to blend in and keep their numbers down. And, you know, I don't care a lot of deaths and, happening a lot. And, again, this asshole deserved it. I will not argue in the least. Much the, like human, this, we... But there's a justice system that we have, you know, in every country that can deal with that. I, yes. I personally like that. think that subverting the justice system like that is half the reason that most of these countries have issues is because oh well he can't be dealt with by normal means so let's do it this way lorenzo mm -hmm. yeah. much like humans we sometimes have eating disorders too this happens to be one of them not necessarily, up in the come on not I mean, necessarily that aspect like of an it. angel come on hey, i mean hey, I, I, hey, hey, I get it not that ritualist but not that ritualistic aspect Okay, I get that he might have a weird eating disorder no. because of his whole change into the undead thing. And but does he have to take it that far? I mean, that's that's gone beyond disturbing into... I mean, if this was a human, they'd classify him as a sociopath and lock him away for the rest of his life. Let's put it bluntly. You want it bluntly, that's how it is. They would classify him as a serial, serial killer and a sociopath. He would never see the light of day again, and he'd probably end up dead in a cell somewhere because people don't, you know, especially when you mess with those of religion. Prisoners tend not to like that stuff, as odd as that is. Oh, God. Again, do I agree that the people he committed the crimes against deserve it? Yes, I checked on the priest. They have a history of pedophile problems, and... Personally, as far as I'm concerned, hey, you know, getting their dick chopped off and shoved in their mouth is just desserts. But again, it's just the whole 
I mean, I get that he thinks he's some messenger of God or, you know, however he wants to see it, but let's be honest, he's basically fucked up. I mean, you know, no other way to put it. I mean, he is fucked in, the hand in ways I can't even begin to comprehend, nor do I want to. We're all... I, I think there's a motive that he has that he hasn't told you yet, and I honestly think it's going to be your destruction. That's what I feel. There's, there's everything in a nutshell. All right. All right. I think you've been hanging out with him too much and losing touch of who you are. Oh, Even God. Julian made comments about how you weren't acting yourself a lot lately. Now, that may change now that whatever he did corrected whatever it was. So I'm willing to give it time. But if I still see the same results, that video and the in that audio and the information I have will go to Julian. He looks at you. You are aware that Julian is already aware of these acts, correct? No, no, I wasn't. But, yeah, sure. <laughs> he is. He's well aware. Hmm. Oh God, I he he should probably roll a perception empathy <laughs> <laughs> because. Obviously, if he's saying the things nope, he's saying. <laughs> oh, okay. So he might. He probably wouldn't catch all that much. I guess I could. Uh, I haven't rolled my uh, manipulation subterfuge for anything, <laughs> so it's not like I need a contesting roll. I haven't lied. <laughs> Things aren't always as simple as they seem. Why do I always hear that? Oh, I'm a well aware. You, I know. Yes, I yes, you are. And this is unfortunately one of those things that, like as I far know. as his reason for doing it, etc., is beyond the feeding issue. I can't explain. Besides, well. And she's like, besides the uh, miscellaneous uh, uh, ramblings of faith hmm. while he's doing it. Did you hear that whole audio? I, I can play it again for you in case you forgot. <laughs> I don't need to hear it again. Hmm. I'm gathering you were there. He looks at you. I can put two and two together. I know when you weren't on the compound and at work, so I can figure it out. Julian has pretty much told me the days he's been wondering about you. Yes, I was there. Oh. I didn't necessarily approve of how it was gone about, per se, in the aspect that the uh, that it was done in the home with children present and left for the children to see later. Which, thankfully, even according to the police and the mother, it never happened. So that's the one good thing. But I mean, that's taking a huge risk doing that, and possibly risk scarring the children because of it. This is my whole point. He's, he's not, he doesn't get that what he did, yeah, may have been a good thing, but it could have seriously damaged people and damaged those kids later. What if, by sheer chance, one of them got up, happened to, you know, look out their living room window and see that? Oh, absolutely. Like, Merry Christmas, your dad's splayed out like a fucking angel on his car. Oh, yeah, and his guts and stuff are hanging out. Yeah, that's a, that's a great mental image for Christmas. <laughs> horrifying on um, horrifying all the same mm. it's 
it's no better than uh, de than their what their father was doing them doing to them and could have done to them for Christmas. I'm not saying that I would want to see my father's corpse on my vehicle come Christmas morning. But I'm certainly uh, not one that would think being raped by my father was any better. Now, like I said, I, I don't agree. I don't disagree that the man right. kind of got what he deserved. There are, I don't there disagree are. in the way it was carried out. Yes. Was the guy a piece of shit? Yes. Was the guy attached to a very powerful law firm that can cause massive problems for anybody they suspect might be involved? Hell yes. Correct. I did some research on this law firm. They've never lost. Which Ever. One? Which one was it? I'm out of character. I didn't. Ram Wolfenhart. That's what I thought. Okay. Mm -hmm. I've also done a little digging in the uh, the darker web of things, so to speak, because, well, I have access to that. You were really careful and didn't get caught, right? Yes. That should be the least of your concern at this point in time when I tell you what I found out about this particular law firm. All right. It is rumors they have some... darker uh, clients. Darker clients, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, um, yeah, I, it's like... Black market? Something worse? They represent these... <laughs> they represent the, the scum. I mean, like, hardcore super scum. Okay, what what exactly? And they've never are they lost because they represent scum, and they've they never represent lost. represent scum, and they never lost. They never lose. Got it. Ever, <laughs> and the entire time they've been in existence, from what I was able to piece together. So who's heading them? That's what I can't find out. That's the goofy thing. Like they have, you know, people in positions of power, and you know. You know, directors of operations for X, Y, and Z, but there's never officially anyone who declared, you know, who is linked directly to founding this organization. It seems as if one day they just kind of appeared out of nowhere. Things don't just appear out of nowhere, they always start somewhere. Bingo. That's my issue. I mean, if they find out in any way, shape, or form, because if I got this information, if they're as powerful as I think and have the kind of contacts that I can imagine they do, again, if I found out the information, what's to stop them from finding out? And they have nastier times than I do, apparently. Oh, boy. Well. Mm, see the problem I have here. Yes, yes, I do. Mm. No, I will. Uh, I have some uh, CD contacts that might be able to tell me something. I want to hope so because everybody I talk to is scared to death of this group. I mean, they are scared to death of a law firm. I didn't think I'd ever hear that from some of the people I've spoken with. They are terrified of this group. They don't know what the fuck to think. Ram Wolfenhart, huh? No. All right. Uh, I will further look into them and see what I can come up with. Uh, being that I, I deal I, with the police and uh, other people frequently, uh, lawyers come up from time to time. Mm -hmm. 
So let's see what I can pull from this company. I mean, I've checked. I, I did as much research as I could. And, uh, I mean, honestly, I don't, I don't want to push too far with this group, at least with the way I do things, because I don't know how well connected they are. I mean, they got law offices all over the place. And they've never lost ever. And believe me, some of the people from what I've read on some of their cases, it was almost a slam dunk for, you know, to put these people away. Yet somehow they managed to walk away from it like they were untouchable. Hmm. Yep. Untouchable. Untouchable. All right. No, I appreciate that. Um, their name has actually popped up a uh, couple of times. Funny, you make it right. in miscellaneous other uh, investigations. I'm truly not surprised with the kind of information I got, just on a mere cursory look. Like I was looking into. Uh, Hold on, I'm trying to find my notes page. <laughs> so I take notes. I take notes. Oh. Uh, Ram Wolf and Hart came up, if I recall, in regards to Thomas Roderick. Mm -hmm. Oh, and I, I don't know what's happened recently, but I've been having some wicked ass dreams, like shit that just doesn't make sense. What kind of dreams? <sighs> That's what's weird. I mean, uh, it, when I say this, you're going to think like, you know, what was I smoking or what was I doing at the time? But uh, I swear I was completely sober, well, aside from the shit ton of energy drinks I had. But <clears throat> I was completely sober at the time this all happened. So that's how I know it's not, you know, drug related. Um, I dreamt of toys just seeming to like fall out of the sky, like toys and board games and stuff like that just seemed to like fall out of the sky into the city. And by the end of, you know, this Wait. weird rainstorm, like, the entire city was basically just, like, covered in toys, board games, and miscellaneous stuff. Is it toys? Yeah, here's the freaky part. I'm not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> here's the freaky part. Dancing on top of the, all the toys was a wolf that had a heart-shaped thing on its body and a ram with a harp-shaped thing on its body. Were they uh, jet black? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and and they seemed to be dancing with a person in a black robe, and for some reason, the only initials that came to my mind were T and R. T and R. I... Like as in T dot... R dot initials. Did you get a good look at the packaging on the toys and the games? Yes, and I'll never buy toys from them ever again. <laughs> Happy times, toy company. Mm, not. She says that very under her breath. And yep. you are Thomas Roderick? I don't know. It's the only initials that mean anything to me for T and R. Mm -hmm. Like I said, weird fucking dreams. I don't know. No, I had a dream. Uh, toys and games, very similar to what you're talking about. Must be in the blood. Uh, Happy <laughs> Times Toy Company. Mm -hmm. TNR, yeah. Thomas Roderick, it's the best thing I can come up with. 
your guess is good. And it's just flying out there, and then yes, even right down to the jet black wolf and the ram mm. with the heart shaped patterns on their coats. Yeah, they're really creepy shit. Yeah. You know, if you want to have these freaky dreams, you can have them, but can you please keep them to yourself? Because that shit, you know. I didn't want to have these dreams. <laughs> well, I didn't either. Well, I guess that's sharing dreams, I'm blaming boat. you. <laughs> he looks at you. Uh-uh, uh-uh, I do not <laughs> choose the dreams that I have. They just happen, much like yours. Much like yours. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, and uh, rumors in my uh, dark circle of friends, and don't ask who they are or how I know all this information, because probably better you don't. Um. Uh, that really has her attention because she's like, "What the fuck." <clears throat> What? I have friends. No, and that's not what I'm what the fucking, and you know it. You know it. You're smart. You're smart, young man. You know. What? what I'm I don't know what you're talking about. My <laughs> dark contacts. Wrong. Don't ask. Well, I have some people that prefer not to leave names, but give me information from time to time. Somehow, someone has... um learned of my lineage. Very well. Now, they've been really good about not saying anything from what I gather, because believe me, I think I know. They know of your lineage, okay, so just mm. particularly what aspect of it? <sighs> They know who I roll with, uh, uh, as they put it. So they know that you're a... Uh, mm, you know, it's... One of the Giovanni, okay. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of Giovanni. Yeah, but they, they let on that there was more that they knew they weren't going to go into because I would probably ask way too many questions. <laughs> Because I was questioning the shit out of them when they said that. Um, but this particular individual has uh, told me of how apparently um, we're not the only ones getting freaky dreams. Okay, go on. How about the entire kindred society in Minneapolis as a whole? Oh, shit. Everyone. Well, this one only has contact with the um, good side of things, but I can only imagine that if it's happening on, well, lack of a better term, our side, it's going to be happening okay. in theirs too. The quote unquote good side of things, everybody thinks their side is the good side of things. Okay, well, the Camarilla, if that makes you feel better. <laughs> yeah, of course, the Camarilla thinks their side is the good side of things. So does the Sabbat. Well, and all, well, all the, the independents, at least, that matter, but at least the independents have it right. Think for your fucking self. At the same time, yeah. Sure, they both have their points. They both yeah. have their points. Well, let's, uh, let's the not argue the politics. Da, 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 okay, no, no, no politics. I'm not a kindred. I just, you know what I meant. Anyways, but if it's happening on the Camarilla side and you're having dreams, I can only imagine that there's not a single kindred within the city that isn't affected in some way, shape, or form. By this the, rumors, the rumors are apparently uh, some power plant on the outskirts of town was hit um, by otherworldly forces, and that's the only term I got. I can only imagine since they were speaking about Kindred pretty normally that it can only be the other groups. Um, and when that happened, all the strange dreams happened. And from the exact time they said, we, uh, I've been able to kind of make a little uh, chart. And it puts it, uh, gives us a few days, but it puts us about in line with when that happened. Oh, boy. So I'm thinking whatever happened there. 
kick-started something within the uh, kindred population. And the more terrifying aspect is, what else could it have done? Any number of things are possible. Mm. It's, I've learned that the uh, supernatural world, as it were, is... Fucked up. Fucked up. Issues. Issues. Nothing is impossible. Everything is possible if Put gone about in the proper way. Yes. Yes. Anything and everything is possible. Brain farted. And, and before you ask, Mom, no, I'm not going to give up my sources. <laughs> he just looks at you. I didn't expect you to necessarily. Eh, just in case. Figured I'd, you know, get the generic disclaimer over with. Like a good Giovanni, you wouldn't give away your sources. <laughs> he smiles. smiles. Well, you know, there are some parts of the family I don't mind. <laughs> the head for business is uh, really good. <laughs> she's uh, she she shakes her head slightly. And have you uh, tried to talk to your father at all? Mm, Julian feels it's good to wait a little bit till he's a little more stable. It's apparently, I wasn't him. referring to face to face. Um, no, I haven't tried to figure if he, when he's ready, he has my information. Well, at least that's what Julian said. So I, don't know. I mean, my email doesn't change. It's been the same since well, ever. Forever. <laughs> I gotcha, I gotcha, I was just curious. And if I do, you want me to pass on a message? I just haven't heard from him in a while. Mm, well. Then again, they may not want me to talk to him. Either one's possible. It'd be the first time they uh, stripped us of uh, that. She just kind of rolls her eyes slightly. Yes, there's obviously some uh, he doesn't malice there. <laughs> he says nothing. <laughs> well, kid. Yes. I'm I'm more than open and willing to answer anything I can for you, like I said. I And as truthfully and honestly as I can, you, you're you well aware of things beyond most people your age. Mm, no, yeah, I'm well aware and of that. You're intelligent. <laughs> you know when to keep your mouth shut. Yeah, and knowledge I'm knowledge is power. Any knowledge I can bestow upon you. You can't get through your computer. <laughs> <laughs> Those computers are handy, I won't lie. Okay, anything else you need from me there, Mom? I don't really need anything. Well, anything else you want to know? 
creepy dreams and weird shit happening to the supernatural aside? Well, I mean, still not sure why I got the dream, but hey, whatever. Yeah, that that is an interesting thought. I didn't realize that uh, multiple people were having this dream until you mentioned it, and that's very, very strange. That generally is something that doesn't happen. Well, from what I gather, from what the rumors are, is the dreams are all somewhat different, yet all have, you know, some common with them. They are kind of Almost as if, and, and I hate to use this term because I really don't like using this term, but almost as if the powers that be are deeming that uh, someone needs to get off their ass and do something. Perhaps, perhaps. Like, that's exactly it. Maybe they're bored. Who knows? <laughs> Just like fucking with people. <laughs> uh, well, we all like to fuck with people to an extent. Mm. You do it by hacking. <laughs> Dante does it in other ways. Mm. As do I. Hold on one second. I gotta mute this because Josh is talking to me. He's in a scene with the other dudes. I know. They keep asking to get me. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, apparently I'm needed for something. I mean, I'm curious about a lot of things. I mean, I know with your upbringing, you have pr you're privy to information that most people aren't, but I mean, even the information you have at this age is nothing compared to what I had at mine, even being part of the family, so it's kind of interesting besides the fact that you catch on to things quickly. So why all of this information is privy to you at this age, they shouldn't even be thinking about this, well, this I age. So I want to know, and you made mention of my sire, former sire, causing shit and getting mm. in trouble and using you for it. What kind of shit did she cause? I don't know that was kind of the information that I kind of wasn't really privy to. I just know that apparently she had pissed off someone from another part of the family and that, you know, uh, how the family handles grudges. Yeah, we it, pay for it. Yeah, everybody else ends up paying for it. <coughs> that's all I was able to gather, and that's why I specifically was targeted. Is because, you know, I don't really have anybody else to go to, so, you know, kind of down the line. You know, shit rolls downhill. <laughs> it just looks. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I gotta say, that's, that's one thing that agitated me. It's, we're not fucking animals for you to just trade around. Um. Got thoughts and feelings, too, and. Yeah. Well, unfortunately, that's how the family does things. As fucked up as it is. It is. It is. So you might get lucky and at least not be traded off like cattle. That'd be nice. And we'll continue to fight for it as long as we can. I'm all aware of that. Julian made it pretty clear ahead of time that uh, he would basically go to war to uh, prevent that from happening. I told him it's going a little overboard. I can easily fake death, and he uses the <laughs> quotation marks. Very easily. Oh, darn. Such a tragedy. Died so young, you know. I can even yeah, you better hope somebody you. doesn't try to uh, pull back your soul there, buddy. Because they're going to find real quick that it's still attached. Yeah, I know. That's the only problem with faking death within this family. 
You can't ever fucking stay dead. <laughs> you know, like I said before, where there's a will, there's a way. Mm. If that's what you wanted to do to get out, I would help. However, that's up to you. All your call. And finding the way to do it, well, yeah. that would be important. something in itself, but we all know that nothing is impossible where there's a will, there's a way. It just takes time. True. You know, if I do it, I'm going to have to fully plan it out. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. I have no idea. And that... That is up to you. I mean, I know, unfortunately, as much as we like to admit it, it's I'm on borrowed time before those that be, that, uh, you know, want my, uh, for lack of a better term, soul, come looking for it. <sighs> With or without oh. giving permission. Because from what I gather, they have more pull. Then you should probably, I mean, I hate to say it, but you need to figure out what you want to do, and you need to do it quick if you still want to have a choice. Yeah, I've been working on it. Fortunately, I mean, oh, it's not much better of a choice than nothing being rushed, but at least you still get your, your own decision on this. Whether it's timed right or not. Unfortunately, you still get to make. I mean, fortunately for you, get you still get to make the call. But unfortunately, you don't get the time, res the the time restraint that you deserve. Hmm. Yeah, that's one of the other things that's been on my mind. I know they're going to come looking eventually. Join them and we'll be able to stall them for so long. It may not even be long. For all I know, they're already here. I hope not. I hope not. Everything. Everything has been pushed into this family with or without any uh, any input on my end from day day one mm -hmm. I <laughs> that's the way the family works oh I'm perfectly content I, with you running around being an independent being then being forced into a situation that you don't want to be in. It's never my intent to put you in a situation you don't want to be in. Sometimes it happens. It's never my intent. Uh, he looks at you. And he gets a serious face. The catch is, if I do plan on uh, disappearing, or for safety-wise, the less you know, the better. He looks at you. I understand, because I'm the first place they'll go. You're not. So if I suddenly disappear, you'll know why. And looks at you. I don't necessarily want to ask you this should you decide to go. But it's the only way I'll ever actually know if something happens. Uh, I'll leave a way for you to know. If I disappear without my choice, you'll have nothing. If I disappear other ways, you'll have in her. But 
if you disappear either way and something bad happens, I will know. No, don't worry about that. I'm pretty sure the way I... Some of the thoughts I have will... Uh, don't know. She raises a brow. Come on. I told you it's been on my mind. It's one of the things I have to focus on. The way I'm talking about isn't just a guess that I'll know. It is a for certain that I will know. Yeah, well, the way I'm talking about, the way I would do it is uh, you would be given a way to know that. Now you see him type something on his computer. You see him kind of looking around. You see him hit a button. Yeah. He looks at his computer for a second. Forgive me, but I don't trust anywhere, so I had to make sure that uh, my computer was ready. All right. I already plan on uh, making an escape. Um, but the way I'm going to do it is... She just, she like, actually, she just like puts a hand to her mouth and she's like, just be quiet right now because we are in the upstairs room. He, he turned his uh, laptop back towards you. You see some weird lines and stuff. And believe me, they can't hear a damn thing. If there are bugs in this room, they're currently listening to the sound of music. Oh. <laughs> just okay. And if he turns the screen towards her, she's going to look at the screen. Yeah, it's just a bunch of like lines and squiggles to you. It's all eh, Greek, but uh, it's basically a, a readout of how he's uh, basically masking anything going on in the in there. I don't know what the squiggles mean. I don't know what uh, it means. I know. You turned the background. Uh, basically, it just um, it will, quite literally, if there if there are bugs in here, they're listening to the movie Sound of Music. Oh wow! Their ears are back to bleed. On yeah. It's unfortunate for them. I'm glad I'm not on that end of things. Yeah, well, you want to be nosy and listen in? You get what you deserve. Touche, <laughs> touche, son, touche. Um, but <laughs> you are going to have to make it as realistic as possible. Um, from the few my alternate sources, um. They say they can make it as realistic as possible, but uh, you are, I mean, it, it may seem real to you. I mean, it may seem honest to God true. I want you to know it's not, but you're going to have to make it appear that way. I probably shouldn't be telling you this because the more shock look you have, the easier, but... If I don't know when it's happening... Not... That's better. Point. However, you better not leave me hanging too long. Yeah, uh, I'll have ways to contact you. I hope so. Oh, well. It'd be weird and through other sources. <sighs> Let's just say you have an email account you're not aware of yet. Interesting. Mm, you'll get a message as soon as it goes. Oh, you activated it to my phone? To my computer? <laughs> activated it to the phone I know you have that no one else does. No one looks at you. He smiles. She raises a brow. He tosses you a phone. <laughs> Don't ask. Surprise! Okay. <laughs> I won't. And that goes in her front pocket. Make sure nobody else gets fat. <laughs> nope, nope, that'll stay uh, on me at all times. And her other phone get, is her other phone just stays in her purse, anyways. <sighs> Smiles. Told you, I've been thinking about things for a while. Picking up on two and two equals four. Fancy <laughs> that. I thought it equaled six. She is clearly joking. 
You see him tap on the computer. He kind of motions to his, you know, motions to the, sh- the chef. Okay. Um, yeah, so, I mean, that's pretty much all my concerns. He, you know, goes on with the conversation. It's normal. <laughs> like they weren't just listening to the sound of it. Yeah. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> you know, I, I can understand your concerns. So, well, I guess we'll see how it goes. When are we allowed to actually be back in the city so that way I don't, you know, and then you know. We're officially supposed to be gone for a week. So, okay. um, if you can find a way to cover your ass, you can go out. I'd rather it, just wait. It's easier. You know me. And, um, um, she's like, well, I have a dress. She's teasing him. <laughs> No, I'm but good. I'm sorry, I don't have a wig, and well, um, yeah, yeah. He just shakes his head. Just no, just no. <laughs> good. I'm glad. I thought you might say that. <laughs> <laughs> there are. Um, <laughs> I mean, why did you want to go somewhere? Did you need to go somewhere? No, not really. I just I was just curious when I was allowed to start going somewhere again. I mean, if you can uh, keep it under wraps, I'm not going to stop you from going anywhere. Uh, no. Nah. I could. My luck, somebody won't recognize me. So. Same here. That's kind of why I've uh, kept it low. Quiet. I think, uh, I, I suppose I could let you, uh, sleep. I'm, I'm not used to this, uh, human, <laughs> the mortal sleep schedule, but I, I apologize. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I probably should get some sleep. <laughs> yeah. I'm not telling you that you have to go to bed or anything. I just figured, uh... <laughs> Yeah, well, my energy drinks are starting to wear off, so. Caffeine crash? Yeah. Oh. Don't drink too much of that. I know, it's bad for me. I'm going to die eventually. (laughs) Yeah, we all die eventually. (laughs) All right. Yeah, well, I want my death to be normal, not like um, the rest of the family making. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, we don't talk about that. <laughs> um, it's different for everybody, and it's not always uh, pleasant. <laughs> I've heard so, stories, that's all I can say. <laughs> yeah. None of it sounded yeah. appealing. No, I can't imagine it did. I can't imagine it did. Considering... uh, Yeah. We're not going to get into that particular detail. (laughs) Um, I don't know. I feel like we might be able to pull some kind of uh, alliance with uh, DC... No. Huh? Really? Really. Um. Not entirely certain how, but hmm. there might. I, I, <sighs> You know, there's always a possibility for something, and if something clicks, you might as well look into it. You know. That being said, I... Yeah, the... It's... I should probably... I could probably stand some rest, too. Wow. (laughs) 
she just leaves it at that. <laughs> like, uh, I could probably use some rats too. <laughs> <laughs> it says nothing. All right, well, you get some rest, I'll get some rest, and, you know. We'll be well rested and ready for plotting later. Yay! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, if you need anything, you know where to find me. I know where to find you. <laughs> um. Good night. Good night. Good night. Uh, she'll uh, sneak out. She'll walk, slip out the door and close it quietly. She's not obviously not locking it or anything freaky because he's already made it well aware that he's an expert escape artist, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> she she's just closing it, closing it, and setting up shop across, uh, curling up across the hall. Okay. Um, I think we'll end it there. Uh, thank you all for watching. Thank you, players, for playing. Thank you everything yeah keep in touch um keep an eye out for more and good night